Hi guys, bargain store project time again. I drifted into the pet section in my bargain store and found this pet pedicure. Uh, basically all it is is an ele electric motor with a grinding wheel on the end of it for tidying up your pet's nails dogs and cats I assume for grinding them down so obviously I picked it up because it's got an electric motor in it needs a couple of batteries Two double A batteries. So what are we going to make with it? I usually make cars with electric motors, don't I? First thing I found is it comes apart nice and easily. That just slides off and that pulls off. So that means if we want to get to the electric motor or to the shaft, you've got to cut quite a bit of the plastic off in the usual way. Okay, quick look through my scrap box and I've still got this um, propeller blade which just happens to be the right size to fit straight onto the shaft of that motor without me doing any modification at all. I'm going to bend up a paper clip so that it goes over the, the on off switch so that I can actually twist it and it'll hold it on. Also in my scrap box I've got the remains of a fan jet car that I made a while back. Wheels are made out of polystyrene plates uh, they're on barbecue stick axles, or barbecue canes, or what you want to call them, with drinking straws for the tubes that the axles are inside. So I've got two of them that I don't need to do anything to. So all I'll do, I'll take it off of here, hot glue it onto here, and I'll have another little fan-driven car. Nice, quick and simple. Right, I've trimmed off the old body work. So I can just hot glue that on there. Hot glue the other bit on there. Fan will sit in the front. And I've bent the paper clip in that shape. So it fits over there, and if I want to turn it on, I'll just turn it like that. And that'll hold it on for me. Hot glue gun's warming up. We'll glue it together in a few seconds, and then we'll go downstairs and test it in the kitchen. For those of us who don't already have a nice fan blade like that waiting, this bit of plastic I've cut from a 2 litre pop bottle and I'm going to cut a propeller blade out of it in this shape, the same as I used for my model aeroplane a few episodes back. And I shall hot glue that onto that bit of plastic tube and then I shall also try fitting that on there and see if we can get it to work with that because I'm aware that quite a few people won't have one of those sitting around available. If you watched my efforts at making a rubber band powered model aeroplane you may have noticed I mentioned the plastic that I've used here from the pop bottle it gets very soft when you put the hot glue on it 
which actually gives you a chance to put an extra twist into it, which is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm holding it while the hot glue dries, so that hopefully when we come to use it, it's got um, quite a twist in it, or pitch, as it's called. It straightens out a bit when I loosen it, but uh, that's, not, that's now got quite a, a turn to it. So we'll see if that works. I need to put a bit of hot glue in the end as well because it's just a bit too big. It doesn't grip very well at the moment. So we'll pop a bit of hot glue in the end and that should help it grip. Right, before we can actually try this out, I've got a bit over ambitious with the size of this propeller. It's actually going to hit the ground so I need to trim it a bit. Okay, time for a test run. Well that seemed to work. Quite surprised it's still in one piece. Hit the end there quite hard, but we'll let it go back the other way. So there we go. Quick summary. This was a pet pedicure. Um, it's a little abrasive wheel for trimming the nails and claws on your pets. I took the abrasive wheel off the end, made a little propeller out of a plastic pop bottle. The wheels are made out of polystyrene plates. Uh, the axles are, uh, what are they, barbecue skewers, inside drinking straws, and that's it, and it works.